back to another epi. Today. Today? Oh, today. I am doing probably the most highly requested video ever. Just kidding. No. But um, this is requested a lot from you guys, especially because I do nail designs all the time. You guys see it on my Instagram stories. I have been doing this for like three months now. Ever since the trend of like doing your own nails started, I was like, oh my god, I should, I should hop on this bandwagon. I actually was so close on filming one like two months ago, but then I was like, no, I don't want to be unexperienced and people judge me. But here I am now because to this day, I still get so many requests to film this video. So I'm going to show you step by step exactly what I do to get these amazing cute little things on. And the reason why I personally switched over to doing my own rather than going to a salon, many, many reasons. One, 10 times cheaper. In the beginning when I bought everything, it was $120, around $120. If you add that up, that's literally like four or five times going to a salon. And I've already done my nails like 20 times. So it already, you know, balance itself out. I also can do my own nail designs without having to like try to explain to them how to do it. I feel like they always mess up when I want to do something cool. Plus they always charge extra for designs, so that's stupid. And you can just stay in the comfort of your home, you know? And a lot of you guys might think you need like skill to do this. You just need to take your time. Like you just can't go fast, you can't get frustrated, you can get stressed out. Another big question is where I get all my stuff from. Literally Amazon. Amazon is the answer. I got everything from Amazon. It was cheap and it was came really fast and it's good quality, honestly. Well, at least in my opinion. I've never really tried anything else, so I guess I wouldn't know, but I recommend Amazon. I think that's all I have to say. Here's how I do my infamous acrylics. So first, obviously, I'm starting with nothing on my nails. Make sure to take off your little cuticles to have like a good base for your acrylics. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and buff out all my nails just so I can have like my acrylics grip on something. I don't know, I feel like it makes it much better. Next, I use these fake nails. I don't know, it's called the BT Art Box, I guess. Um, there's a bunch of different sizes you can pick from. And then also I'm using this glue. I don't know what the brand really obviously got it from Amazon, like I said previously. Then I try to find the fake nail that matches my real nail perfectly, so I don't know, just like mends together. Then I put the glue on the acrylic and press on to my fingernail. Here's a close-up version. I'm just putting it on the nail and then putting the nail on my real nail, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But then I'm just continuing it to all my fingers. Once they look like little claws, you know you're doing it right. <laughs> then I just use a normal little nail clipper and trim off the edges. Obviously there's a lot to cut off to make it look what you probably want it to look like. A little tip I like to do is to measure each hand to each other to make sure they are the same length so it doesn't look all weird and janky. <laughs> but again, continue this to all your nails. Next step is to file. This is definitely the most boring part for me. It just takes so long, but you just file them down. I personally like the coffin shape, which is like hard to explain. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. <laughs> Two sides down and it's a flat at the end. Then I just use this little brush just to get rid of all the little dust particles from the file. It's really not necessary, but I don't know. Then for the next steps, you'll need a little cup or bowl, whatever you want. Some liquid monomer. Monomer? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Monomer, whatever. Then you'll need some acrylic powder. It works best if you get the acrylic powder and the liquid monomer from the same brand. Mine is Mia Secret. And then obviously your acrylic brush. Then you're going to want to dip the liquid monomer into the little bowl. Now to actually do the acrylic, I'm going to dip my brush in the liquid monomer, get it all soaked up and nice, and then, I don't know how to explain, you just have to look at the motion I'm doing, just gather up some powder and make it into kind of a ball form and then paint it onto your nail. It's as simple as that and I'll show you a close up so you get a better view, but again I'm just getting it soaked up in the monomer. I don't know if I'm saying that right, please don't judge me. And then dipping it in there, as you can see that little ball on the end and then applying it onto my nail. Kind of just like brushing it really soft and gently, making sure to not like go on your cuticle because that'll obviously look kind of gross. But yeah, then you just continue that to all of your nails. Once your nails are all prepped and ready, it's time for painting. And my painting utensils are, well, um, I have this light that I use, it's called the Sun UV. Um, I definitely recommend to do gel polish. You obviously can do regular nail polish, but I think it holds on your nail so much longer and it's definitely worth the purchase, but I really like that one. Like, it's really nice and high quality. But I'm just using this white 
gel paint. Um, the brand is obviously from Amazon. And I'm just painting it on all my nails. And then letting them cure in the light for... I do mine around 60 seconds, but it honestly doesn't really matter. But um, then I'm just going with my second coat and also curing it with the light again. So what next step is designing. I just have this little piece of paper. It's just computer paper. But I lay it down because I want to mix some colors together and I don't want to get it on my table. But then I use this daughter tool because I'm going to be doing a cow design and I kind of need it just to like, I don't know, give the effect of a cow. But I'm mixing the two colors together. You honestly don't have to do this. I don't know why I mix the colors together. I really don't think it made a difference at all. But I'm just putting random little dots and just shapes on my nail to resemble a cow and I think it actually looks so darn cute like I'm obsessed with it but as you can tell it's so easy like anyone could do this I'm just making random designs on my nail so it's not like it's complicated at all but yeah I'm just doing this to all my nails then once you're done with the design then you're just gonna want to cure it again to make sure it stays on there forever then finish her off with a top coat and then don't forget to cure after that again and then you're done! You literally have the cutest cow nails you'll ever see. Um, I'm literally obsessed with these. These are definitely one of my top picks for nails. So yeah, I hope you liked my little voiceover. Alright, back to you, Maya. Easy as that. Like, honestly, it takes me about one and a half hours. Actually, for a full set, one and a half hours. If I was just to, like, fill it again, it'd probably take, like, one hour. But, so easy, right? So, if you guys do any of these designs, make sure to take a picture and, like, tag me on Instagram or put on your story and tag me so I can see it. And so I can be like, ooh, girl, that looks so good. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I hope you learned something. I hope you try something new. And see you guys next time.